Good morning, beautiful people. I'm back. I'm rolling. Better mood today. And apparently, with the tire, there was a nail up in the tire. Hmm. That's what they told my husband. My husband kept the nail as proof. So, but still, I'm going to keep an eye up on these security cameras. Got to. Because around... Uh, one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Sometimes my dogs are barking. I'm like, oh, good Lord. Who's outside and who's doing what? So. All right, people. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what y'all are doing today. I'm just relaxing. My knees are killing me. Oh, my goodness. I woke up this morning and I was like, Walking like the bride of Frankenstein, trying to get moving this morning. I'm like, oh, good Lord, I can't take it. So, I'm finally going to have to admit it and break down and see a doctor. I know I have RA, rheumatoid arthritis. But I need to know how bad it is. Now, every time I go to my doctor, he wants to load me up with painkillers. I don't want that. I don't. I really, really don't. I don't want to be doped up on a daily basis to function. Nobody should have to do that. Nobody. I don't care what your... Let me straighten out this ring. Tends to move around up on my finger a lot. But nobody should have to be on painkillers just to function. And I don't want that. I really, really don't. Yeah, it hurts. But I'd rather deal with the pain. And no, I'm not doing the injections of the embryo and all this other stuff. Have y'all read the side effects up on that? Uh-uh. No. Not gonna happen. I'm not doing it. No. Uh-uh. No way. Other people can. If that's what you need and want. But please, just read all the side effects. All of them. I don't care. And it's a long list. Of side effects that could happen. Read it all. Now, a lot of people are saying how they're happy with it, and I'm glad. Because we live in the greatest country in the world. That's why so many people want to come here. Because we are a great country. But I think our medicine and medical field is still dark ages when you think about it. Oh, this person's in pain. Give them this painkiller. Oh, this person has this kind of pain. Give them this. I don't want that. There has got to be something out here that will absolutely work for people that have pain on a daily basis that don't want to take painkillers. Either just let me suffer. I, personally, me, I just rather suffer with the pain. Now, one of my great aunts, she had RA. And the poor little thing, she was just crippled up with it. I mean, her hands and her feet and stuff like that just became severely deformed from the RA. And I understand what kind of pain it causes. I haven't gotten to that extent. But I know what kind of pain is causing me right now. And that's why I want to see a doctor to see what the percentage of the RA is already taking effect upon my joints. As bad as my knees hurt, I'm like, oh, honey, I couldn't even run to a good cell right now. And that's the only time I run. 
the only time. Somebody said there's a wildfire behind you. I'm not running. Just not going to do it. I run to a darn good cell. But I ain't running for anything else. Good Lord, my knees do hurt. Mm-mm-mm. But I woke up this morning, went outside, and I'm like, oh, my Lord. No wonder why my knees hurt, because it was cold this morning. I don't care what anybody says. For Central Texas, that was cold this morning. It really, really was. So, I got cat hair on my face. My husband has too, so. Yes, and I'm still a lady and will cross my legs, even though my knees hurt. And my husband was like, well, you want to see my doctor? And I'm like, mm, no, I'd rather stick with mine, even though he's quick to want to load me up with painkillers. Uh-uh. The only thing I will actually take for pain is an Excedrin migraine for my migraines. I get them quite a bit. I haven't had, uh, take that back, I haven't really had a migraine in over a month. Now watch, just because I said that, watch a migraine pop up. Hmm. But, yeah, I mean, today was pretty cool. Well, it's only a little after 10 this morning, right now. So we'll just, I got my thumb all up and away up on this camera. Hmm. So we'll just see, you know, if it's going to warm up a little bit, if my knees feel a little bit better. They really do hurt. But let's talk about Greedy Aunt Peggy. Hmm. Let's talk about you, honey. So what kind of trip are you on right now? On whose money? Is it my money that you're on? Is it so-and-so's money that you're on? Taking a cruise, flying somewhere. How many drinks have you had up on my money or somebody else's money? Oh, yeah. I ain't stopping with you greedy Aunt Piggy until you do the right thing. Thing. You ain't doing the right thing. Oh, I'm each and every day. Each and every day. You know you did the family wrong. You know it. I know it. And now the world's going to know it. You're greedy and I'm calling you out. How's it feel, greedy Aunt Peggy? Hmm? Huh? Well, people are having to scrape the bottom of the barrel. You're living the high life up off their share of the money. Hmm? How's that bill? I wouldn't ever do a family member like that wrong. Ever. Y'all come back now you hear. <laughs>